Hi, my name is Lindsay Wilson. I have one tattoo. I'm Quinn and I have four tattoos. I'm Claire Blank and I have one tattoo. I'm Steph and I have one tattoo. I'm Delena and I have one tattoo. I'm Nicole and I have four tattoos. I'm Gary and I have one tattoo. I'm Maddie Smith and I have a moon tattoo on the left side of my rib, rib cage. Heat in my vein like vernacular. Cook up the beat with a spatula. Y'all are not ready for action. I'm smoking each I got a moon because I'm always up like really late at night. I really don't sleep that much and I feel like some of the best memories that I've had have been at night. I started it when, like last year, when I would draw it on, and it was like, women are queens, cause you know, women, women are queens. My mom got a tattoo when she was 17, so she said when I was 17 I can get it, and um, my freshman year, my grandmother passed from cancer, so she was, I had to make her my first tattoo. I gave it to myself because my friend and I, um, we were both born on May 24th, and we're Geminis and it's quite apparent. Um, and we both are kind of into like astrology and stuff together. I got the R behind my ear because my mom's name is Renee and my mom is literally like the love of my life. <laughs> and I got the elephant on my thigh because in the Hindu religion, the god of success um, has an elephant head. So elephants are supposed to bring you like good luck. I wanted one like since I was little because I had grown up with my mom having some. I decided to get two turtles because it kind of represents like me and my mom because she's like the bigger turtle and I'm the smaller one. I like to have it like where it's on my foot because when I'm looking down that's like if I'm upset like I have my head hang low but then I look down and I see the smiley face on my foot and it reminds me to be positive and stay happy. It's just kind of like inner peace with myself because I used to do a lot of self-harming so um, I kind of want to use tattoos to cover it up. My second one can't show on camera, but basically just is made in China on my waist. <laughs> it's in Japanese and it says paranoia because I'm always paranoid. <laughs> the, probably the most expensive, it's not finished, but it's kind of like um, a Chinese spirit. Not many people at here really care about that I have tattoos. They're like, wow, that's cool. And they walk away. But at work, I'll sometimes get stares. They're like, hmm, that's like, because they think I'm 12. Yeah, I'm, when I first came to school with it, like. Everybody was just like, I wore like a jersey so it like showed and everybody thought it was cool so. So a lot of my friends, they actually did it with me so they really liked it and they knew that I wanted that forever. My mom asked me if I had one and I was like, yeah, and she goes, okay, well, it's cute so, and it means something so whatever. Well, everybody at school thought it was pretty cool so that was good. My parents still don't know so that's good. I don't know, I'd say it's more so accepting just because like everybody here is like, pretty laid back in general and I've done some things that are like whatever it's fine I am too busy with my own life. It's such a large student body and I think everyone here is really open to expressing yourself no matter what like through whatever fashion you have I mean I also have a nose piercing and nobody really cares about it people give me compliments on it. I think people just kind of understand that like it's a piece of art and people can kind of do what they want with their lives. Make sure you definitely um, like what you're gonna get and you're okay with it being on you forever because I know that I went through a ton of phases in high school and I don't want like if I would have tried to get a tattoo my sophomore year or my junior year it would have been not what I would have gotten now. I would definitely make sure if you were like queasy with pain don't do it because it just basically feels like somebody's like poking a sunburn if you don't like that then maybe it's not the best for you but I mean other than that just go for it. Don't do stick and poke. <laughs> um, definitely make sure you know exactly what you want to get and probably think about it for like at least a year. If you can't take pain don't get a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it doesn't hurt too bad, but, like, if you get something that involves shading, like, coloring in, like, it hurts very bad. Just go for it. Honestly, it's gonna hurt, but it's worth it in the end because you can have something meaningful on you for the rest of your life.